Your life is bigger than a week. And yet, what does your digital calendar look like? Does it look like this? Or this? Or maybe even this? Or this? Now, don't get me wrong. Each view is useful, but there is a crucial view that's missing. A usable yearly view. And no, it's not this. It's actually this. This is the linear calendar, and it's changed the way I plan my year. The linear calendar is the best kept secret for visualizing time. In this video, I'll share what makes it useful, how I use it, and how you can use it. Plus, I'll give you a free downloadable version I custom made for 2025 so you can start using it today. Hey, I'm Nick Milo, and this is Linking Your Thinking, where we explore ways of thinking and writing that help us make the most of our minds. All right, let's get into it. Now, let's take a step back by thinking, why do we use calendars in the first place? We are trying to see time, to visualize it. If we can see it, we can better use it. For example, the 1800s had these railway timetables, and what was interesting about them is that it gave us a way to see time across the day, but also across multiple locations. And in the 1910s, Gantt charts revolutionized project planning by displaying these tasks as horizontal bars on a timeline. It allowed project managers to see which tasks were dependent on which other tasks. They called it the critical path. Now, a lifetime ago, I was a civil engineer once, and there was this guy in the office who loved his Gantt charts. He'd print out an entire wall of paper and plaster it just across the entire wall. But the problem with these Gantt charts are that they're super fragile because if one thing changes in the dependencies, then the whole chart is immediately out of date. And the only Gantt charts I actually know are failed Gantt charts. That leads us to this guy, the linear calendar. I don't know when the linear calendar started, but as far as I can tell, I was one of the first to design them and talk about them online in 2012. This was actually my favorite version, which is 2013, because I had access to an 11 inch by 17 inch printer. So I was able to see it well. I love this one and it's still foldable and I can take it with me. But what makes this thing so great is that it's this single static view that you can use to see time for an entire year. It helps you see when you might be too busy and it makes it easy to adjust your schedule to find more balance. So that makes it more than a calendar. You can think of it more as a year long thinking tool. You can use it for yourself you can use it with your team. We actually use it in linking your thinking for the past three years, and I'll show you that momentarily. Okay, now before you click on the link to download the linear calendar, I'd love to cover the three reasons that you should be using it in the first place. The number one reason is to shift your perspective. The weak view is great, but the weak view, if you use it too much, it gets you thinking small. The linear calendar, it's a view that allows you to see the big picture again. Number two, you can adjust your bandwidth. Are you overbooking yourself? Do you see back-to-back -back or concurrent demands on your energy? When you see a lot of events that are like clustering together, try to think what you can do. You can, you can reschedule these events. You can rethink if you even want to do them in the first place. And then Reason three, which is my absolute favorite reason, is that the linear calendar helps preserve your memories. In a single view, you have a way to remember so much of your life's context. Oh, this is, this is beautiful to look at, and I would not remember all this. But when I look at this at a glance, I'm instantly transported back to being in that Subaru driving across New York and New Jersey down to DC with my best bud, Garrett, and we we're working on pink gloves boxing. And it's all there, it's on the calendar. This is a wonderful way to re-upload rich context into your mind so you can preserve your memories. Okay, now how can you get your hands on the linear calendar? The link is in the description below. So that's what's cool about the linear calendar, but can I show how I use it? Now for this, I actually wanna go physically to the one from 2013, and then we're going to look digitally at the ones that we've been using with linking your thinking as a team the past three years. Okay, so now I'm going to move the mic over here. And if you look at this linear calendar, what I wanna get at here is I have dates of travel, I have important dates, I have when I'm going to do some sort of milestone, something else that's really important or resonant, and I just have it throughout the year. And then I can see if things are busier, 
during one time of the year or not. I can also see what's overlapping that can't possibly happen at the same time. So I'll have to pick and choose. So there's a lot going on with me being able to see the linear calendar. Another thing I'll note is a lot of your work on the linear calendar benefits from being in pencil first. And that way it's just penciled in there, but you can always change it if you find well, it kind of overlaps too much. One of these things has to go, and then you can give it the old eraser later on. So that's a physical version of the linear calendar, and now I wanna share with you how we use it as a team. Okay, I just pulled up our three linear calendars from the past three years in a program called Miro Online. It's a great program, I really enjoy it. I'm not getting paid to say that. And we have 2023. 2024 is here and 2025 and you can see that we're building it out as we go let me go up and let's just look at 2023 you can see we have the sales period going on and then we had our workshop 10 we're on to 15 very soon which is exciting and then after the workshop we've built in these week-long sabbaticals for the team so you can see the different sabbaticals that are in gray and you can just start to see how these different things are overlapping and this is really helpful because what what might happen is I might want Obsidian Flight School 3.0 to launch during workshop 11. But if I look at what's going on in June, we have workshop 11, we potentially have a conference that I'm traveling on, and then there's a retreat. Can we really launch Obsidian Flight School as well? Probably not. So the shorthand here is when you see clusters like this, ask questions, is this too much? And if it is, then either reschedule or just kind of rethink about it. Is this still something that you need to do, that you want to do? How important is it? In this case, let's pretend that we decide, no, we'll have Obsidian Flight School. We'll work on it in December to launch it the following year. And that's what I think we ended up doing. So anyways, this is how we use it as a team. We can add comments. It's really great. And this is a simple, single static view that we go back to weekly and immediately we're oriented together as a team. How powerful is that? Okay, so those are the two ways that I use the linear calendar personally and as a team, but now let's talk about how you can use the linear calendar. And there are just a few steps, so let's go over those now. I'll keep this screen share up. We'll pop into it every now and then just so I can have something to point to. But it works like this. Number one, mark down personal dates. Birthdays, holidays, anniversaries, travel, Mark down personal dates here. So when the team calendar, the main personal things that we have are convert kit and you know the different retreats I might go on. Okay, so that's 2023. Let's look at 2024. Hopefully there's nothing too private that I can't share here. And that leads us to number two, mark down work dates. So yeah, you should have travel dates, personal dates for yourself, but mark down work dates. That's going to look like deadlines launch dates, and other milestones. And then number three, mark down active efforts. These are efforts that take up a significant amount of bandwidth. So you can see here, um, top of the year sales, workshop 13, what's another good one? Writing original works, but we also have, you know, do the, the course videos and essays for what it used to be called, note making mastery designing, note making mastery curriculum, the recordings, then we have the next work. So you can see that even if it's not a deadline, having efforts, significant efforts showing up on the linear calendar is really effective so that you can start to budget your bandwidth throughout the year. Those are the first three steps. They're all marking down something. And then step number four, reflect on what you see. What do you see? What's missing? What's overly clustered? Is it realistic? And when it's not, what needs to change? Can you reschedule? Do you have to cancel instead? What can you do? How can you rethink this? That's how you use the linear calendar. Now, I want to give you my free downloadable version, but before we do, here's a word from our sponsors, which is me. Yes, we're sponsoring our own video today. What do you know about linking your thinking? Do you know about our Triforce of courses, the Linking Your Thinking Workshop, Note Making Mastery, and Writing Original Works? Do you know about these? These three courses are part of our year-long Knowledge Accelerator program. This is a complete solution to improving your ability to work with knowledge and make the most of your mind. If that interests you, you can go to our website and learn more about how we can help you master thinking and writing, especially with linked notes. Okay, now how can you get your hands on the linear calendar? The link is in the description below. Print it out or you can use it digitally. 
as you saw with the team I use it digitally personally I like a printout version I'll use pencil and I'll mark it up so you can print it out if you have a regular printer or if you have access to a print shop I really recommend trying to print it out here because this is eight and a half by 11 inches whereas this is 11 by 17 inches and it is so much of a better experience you might not have access to a printer so this still works this still works or you can just keep it digitally and mark it up on your computer now before you go do that though please imagine something with me it'll just take a moment no one's using the linear calendar like seriously it's not being talked about and yet as i as i talked about with the top three reasons to use it those are really powerful reasons so what's going on here it should be in google calendar it should be in ClickUp in Morgan, in any of these calendar apps. And it should absolutely be in Obsidian as a community plugin. I mean, imagine the potential. In one filtered view, you could plan out the big events of your year, and you could look at it as a glance, adjust things as needed in a really useful and practical, simple, static view. But then, in a different view, a different filter could be applied and you could see all the notes that you created throughout the entire year in the context of that year, visually. We're barely tapping into the potential of visual views of time. We don't even know that we're craving these views, these views like the linear calendar until we experience them. I'm asking you, if you're a developer, we need more ways to visualize ideas and, and actions and tasks and milestones through time. If you are a capable developer, if you're a capable designer, please consider designing some of this stuff. We need more imagination put into how we think about and visualize time. The linear calendar is one way, but there's so much more that we need to be doing. Don't just settle for week view. Don't just settle for month view just because that's what we're used to. We have so many tools at our fingertips. And if you're an imaginative developer, please step into the arena and help show us the way. All right, last note, don't get rid of week view if you like it. Week view is great to see the week. It's just really bad at seeing the big picture. And that's where the linear calendar can help. And just to finish, in this video, we focused on proving how to organize time itself. Pretty cool, right? If you want some ideas on how to organize ideas, watch this next video where I share the key to organize your folders in Obsidian. Okay, I'll see you there.